than any? Combine so the two? Look for Kim to race to get pregnant for to make a second baby. Yeah. So she could call. Good morning. Welcome to the broadcast. We're waking up in Dallas Fort Worth this morning. Just did not feel the same for any of us. We are all sitting here with heavy hearts this morning, remembering the man that made so many of us laugh every morning. Kid Craddock died suddenly over the weekend doing what he loved to do. He was raising money for his Kids Kids Foundation. This morning, we're going to talk about him, his legacy, and we're going to hear from many of you who were deeply affected by his passing. And I know all of us this morning are we're, we're, we're drying tears and, and wiping away mascara because if you um, watch this morning, they were on the air um, at 7 a.m. without kid. And um, it was it was really, really difficult to listen to. I thought everybody was, you know, uh, obviously, understandably, devastated. It just goes, the fact that they were on the air, somebody said, I didn't think they'd be on. I didn't think they would either. Well, they have to be on. Yeah. They need to be together mm -hmm. as a unit, as a family. Mm -hmm. So they didn't want to be sitting around. They wanted to come on and honor him and, you know, just be together. What was yeah. interesting, they said when they all drove in, you know, JC was talking about trying to pull himself together this morning, and they all kept saying, we, we needed to do what kid would want us to do. Uh -huh. Right. Um, and that he was always about being prepared in advance and so JC said I got here at the time I always get here and he goes Kelly Raspberry was parked in Kid Craddock's spot she goes, so I parked in Kelly Raspberry's spot and Kelly was like yeah I was going to steal his parking spot this morning so what I found interesting was that amidst you know a lot of sadness and a lot yes. of you know just shock they were able to find humor because once again I think that's what Kid would want them that to they do they were still yeah. doing their thing and if you're not familiar with um, the Kid Craddock in the Morning show um, it's a show a morning talk show uh, on the radio that started here in, in Dallas Fort Worth area and it's now syndicated in over 100 markets and it's mm -hmm. Kid Craddock, JC, Big Al, uh, Kelly, Kelly Raspberry, and Jenna and, Jenna. and um, just a wonderful group makes everyone laugh in the morning but take a little listen to this morning and uh, it was a little different on the air. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> For the first time ever we are Kid Craddock in the morning without Kid Craddock. Yep. And I'm Big Al. I'm JC. White Cheddar's here. Everybody's here. Everybody's here. Um, we, uh, we don't really know how to go about this. We've never had this happen before. When we left on Friday, I was as mad as fire at Kate Craddock. Oh, I know you can say fire right there. <laughs> keeping, keeping with the tradition, I left angry on Friday. Mm-hmm. And, um... <laughs> but here we are today, and, um... But y'all made up. Yeah, we made up. And, and of course, this is video from Friday's show. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I knew what it felt like to be divorced. But the sound you're listening to like is is, is the like group on the air this morning you know, without you know, kid. And uh, I'll tell you, it was it was tough. I mean, I was oh, bawling. I, me we're still crying here Florida, in the South studio Carolina. this morning. It's so sad. And I don't. We were on a conference call last night. All of us chatted last night before uh, to, to talk about today's show. Mm -hmm. And I've grown up with kids since you know the Eagle. And just July 25th, like a couple days ago, he sent me a request on LinkedIn to be LinkedIn Aww. with him. And I was like, Oh my God, Kit Craddock! Like he to, he thought enough to reach out to me. And then I accepted mm -hmm. his request. And I was going to send him a little message. And then Saturday, and it was just. It's just crazy. You know, it's important to mention, too, um, there are a lot of rumors going around about the cause of death. And, um, of course, we all have questions about that. There's been no official cause of death release. There have been rumors about maybe a brain aneurysm or something. But it did happen right when he was on the golf course. And apparently he was not feeling well and, um, you know, was sweating, not feeling well. But nobody really thought anything mm -hmm. of it because it was hot and humid there. And mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, shortly thereafter, was taken to the um, to the emergency room. And, and I think what's dead. so amazing is all his team was there. Mm -hmm. So they they were all at the yeah. hospital. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I can't even imagine in the plane ride back because mm. then you're not home and it's just devastating. Let's uh let's go out live to Don Wall. He is um, in front of the studio for us. And Don, you were you were able to talk a little bit to Kelly Raspberry this morning. That's right. We're standing outside the uh, studio here in Las Colinas and a a couple of hours ago, this whole foyer was absolutely filled with fans, journalists, all here. The fans came to pay their respects and show their love for Kid Craddock. You can see some of the things that are here now. Here Looking up because that's where it all is. You'll always be loved and you're already missed. We love you, Kid. Up here, a, a balloon that says thanks for the memories. And, and it's just... We're having a little bit of trouble with Don's audio there. After the... Oh. I'll keep talking and maybe you can hear me. Uh, 
after after the morning uh, crew finished their bit, they came and met with the fans, and that's where we had a chance to talk with Kelly Raspberry. What are your thoughts right now? Well, I just, you know, I haven't really had a chance to process it. I go from a state of shock to just, you know, crying uncontrollably. I don't, I guess it's like everybody else processing the death of someone that was so unexpected. But we love him and we continue to love him, not in the past tense. It's always, you know, he's always going to be with us and his charity is going to live on. And that's how he's going to live through his charity. So, thank you. So thank, much. You. thank you. Oh, it is so heartbreaking because I can just feel her pain and of course they Kelly Raspberry and, and Kid Craddock have had like you know this contentious <laughs> thing on air and um, you know she calls which herself. apparently was real it was real, and, and of course, this, this <laughs> unconditional just like, just love like between people. them, though. Yeah, and that's yeah. what she said. She said he was my on-air husband, and you know, like a lot of married people, we didn't have sex, and <laughs> we wanted to kill each other. A lot of people were waiting for her to finally make a statement. You know, right. all weekend she was very silent, and if you know her, she's very active on Twitter, mm -hmm. very active on social media, and she had been silent for close to two days, and she finally, at about it was almost eleven o'clock last night, um, posted something on her fan page, which she has close to four hundred thousand followers on on Facebook. Book. Um, and she said, you know, I, I love Kid Craddock. He's the love of my life. And I lost the love of my life. Mm -hmm. And he was my work husband. And as much as we argued and as much as we fought, like, what we had was really real. And, um, yeah, you know, she sense. said every day he thought I was going to quit. Here it is. So she says, my heart is broken. 19 years ago, Kid Craddock swept me up from the middle of nowhere and took me on as his on-air wife. It will always be the biggest honor of my life. This man is responsible for every good thing that has ever happened to me. Don't get me wrong. That man could make me so angry. I could spit and he loved doing that to me every single day I was sure he was going to fire me and every single day he was sure I was going to quit <laughs> but I could never leave kid and he knew that while we pushed each other's buttons we truly shared an unconditional love kid Craddock will always be the love of my life and that's from um, his co-host for close to 20 years Kelly Raspberry. That is so oh, sweet and you know to listen to all of them talk this morning about you know kid giving them all their their first real big break mm -hmm. and um, you know because he was responsible for casting the show and and um, and it was his thing. And, and, and he did. He did. He wasn't. He didn't work for Kiss. He made his own show his and own then thing. sold it to them. Mm -hmm. So he had his own production company. You know, you have an interesting point of view in all this because you were working with um, Ron, Ron Chapman. Chapman. Yes, for I never many heard years. Kid on the radio because you know we were competitors. Well, yeah, you, it was you and Ron, and then it was Kid, Kid Craddock and, and Kelly and Raspberry, Kelly. and a lot of people saying what you were, you and Ron were for a generation before us for this generation. It's Kid Kaddick and Kelly Raspberry. So I wanted to ask you, when you work so closely with someone like that mm -hmm. every morning, and you really do become like on-air spouses almost, mm -hmm. um, I think you have a, a real good insight of what Kelly's feeling this morning. I do, but m let me say something. Ron and I never mixed off the air. We, we never went to parties together. We, we didn't associate off the air. So our relationship was entirely in that time on the air, mm -hmm. which we felt worked better because we weren't carrying any baggage. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? When you become friends or too close. I think Kelly and, and Kid probably did work real closely off the air because they had so many stations and all of that. It seems like they all did. And I, like think, her, I think what she wrote was so honest. Mm -hmm. And yes, I, I, there were many times I thought I was going to be fired, and, <laughs> and should have, and should have been. But I was always given one more chance, and so anyway. And you know, the thing is, it's the old adage. They're all there talking about him, and, and they're on the air with their fans. It's the old adage, the show must go on. Yeah. You know, another thing that Kid did, and that many people are talking about today as they remember him, is he was um, very supportive of new talent. And, uh, and there were many there. Gavin DeGraw was... Uh, there was a soundbite from him on the radio this morning talking about how Kid was so cool with him and just and really supported him. And the last time that that Gavin was here in Dallas, he and Kid went out to dinner, and he said he was just he he gave him so much good advice. And um, and Tim Halperin is another one who was. Kid was so supportive of him, and you'll remember Tim. He's actually been on our show, and we have him on the phone this morning. Tim, good morning. Good morning. I know your heart is as heavy as as all of ours this morning. Yeah, it's uh, today. Today is definitely a tough day. I think um, 
to to tune in and listen to Kid Craddock in the Morning, which for so many people uh, is a staple, is just different, and it's not the same, and um, it's hard. I, I, I think it's still sort of in that that time of reflecting and, and uh, remembering uh, Kid, so it's definitely a tough morning. Tim, what, what is your best memory of Kid and, and what he did for you to help your career? You know, when I first met Kid, um, it was when I was first on his show um, just over two years ago after my time on Idol, and and uh, I went in knowing he was a big Ben Folds fan, and so during soundcheck, I just kept playing Ben Folds songs because I <laughs> love Ben Folds. <laughs> and uh, Kid walked into the studio, and he just goes, are you playing Ben Folds? And I said, yeah, yeah, I am. And um, he said, Tim, why don't you come with me? And um, so he gave me a tour of the studio, and we did the segment on the air, and then he said, Tim, I want to talk to you again. And so he pulled me in his office, and um, he just said, I, I think you're a tremendous songwriter. I think you've got a great voice. I think you've got a good head on your shoulders, and I want to help you out any way that I can. Cool. And um, he's like, if you'll let me. And I was like, are you kidding me? If I'll let you, um, you know, I, that'd be phenomenal. And so um, that's how it started, and that's how it always was. I mean, he just, he went out on a limb um, when he never had to. And that extended far beyond the studio. And uh, I was fortunate enough to become a good friend of kids and just to, to see that he was exactly the same person off the air that he was on the air. And he just cared so much about people and he loves seeing people smile, he loves seeing people laugh. And I have there's so many memories. Um, but if if you'll let me indulge one more one more that, that I was remembering um, the last couple days was there's so many times, as you mentioned about Gavin, um, that that kid would give me advice or give me thoughts on on what I was doing or what he thought I could do. In fact the last conversation we had, he had had he had an idea for me and I just never got to hear what it was. But one of the times um, that he, he had told me something, and you could see I was really thinking about it and uh, was was a little bit frustrated, and he was about to drive off, and he stopped, and he rolled down his window and said, Tim, come over here. And he goes, I love you. I'm proud of you. Aww. And um, and it just was so special, and that's just the way he was. He um, he never missed an opportunity to say those words, and uh, he had a very, he was, he was a very sentimental person, and that was a big part of who he was. Um, and so I think that those are the things I'm remembering. Tim, thank you so much for sharing your memories. And um, we hope to see you again soon. Hopefully you'll come in and visit with us soon here at the show. Yeah, I think uh, hopefully I think that's going to happen here in the next week. Okay. All righty, you take care. That's Tim Halperin, just one of the many, many um, artists, talented artists that, that Kid touched and, and helped along the way. Um, more Table Talk next this morning as we remember Kid Craddock. Stay with us. Come true Cause everybody knows I've got a dream or two And when we hit the ground There ain't a thing I won't do Just tell me what you got Or oh, bring it on I close my eyes at night And I'm a hero man But when they see my face They'll finally understand Well we could see the world Just give me your hand Nothing's gonna stand in our way Shining like the stars